welcome to another week of Finance Talk with myself, Sophia. This week, we're going to talk about the ways to maximize success of your property portfolio. Each week, we bring you a video that's associated with our blog that we put out every Monday. However, we are, this is our final video for this year of 2021. We'll be bringing you more insights next year via the videos. So stay tuned and listen in. So what are the ways to maximize your success while building at your property portfolio? Creating a property portfolio essentially allows you to have the money you put in and build it out and have a compounding effect. So you're building in equity as you build out your property portfolio. Whether you have bought a house with little or no money or little renovations to be done, it always increases in value over time. This is why many people love to buy property as they can see it grow in equity over a period of years. Many investors said that the first time they purchased the property, they were nervous and they didn't think that it would work for them. However, over time, they could see the benefits from it and have greatly benefited from the increase in value in their portfolios. And as you go on, it becomes a lot easier for you to do this. So take time out before you decide on what you want to do and make a decision. Buy below market value is always the way to go because then you can increase the value by doing a small reno or doing a complete um, development on it, which will yield you in the long run and which will maximize on your profits. So if you would like access to our coaching packages, please go over to our website, that's savvywomen.co.uk. And then where I can show you as well through our coaching programs, how you can actually do this for yourself. So equity allows, always remember that the longer you have invested in the house, it often pays off when the longer you leave it. The more equity, the more money you will occur. You can either sell the house and pocket the profits or borrow money against the property, which most investors do. Just keep in mind that another house that you will have two loans out and want to keep your debt to income ratio very low and comparable. And that means not getting into debt. So always make sure that you've done your numbers, done your due diligence to make sure that when you go to buy another property, those profits are there for you to have and it works out in your favor that you're not getting into debt by paying two mortgages. Renovation is always considered to be one of the best things to do when you're trying to fix up a below market value property. You can fix it up and gain profits from doing this. Those houses are usually sold for less of their face value and always make sure that you look at properties that are sold three properties that have been sold in that area with similar features in them. That way you can know whether it is a below market value property. We also take you through a plethora of, of tools that you can use through developing yourself through this investment. So if you want to, again, learn more about how to do flips, how to look for below market value properties, please head over to our website where you'll gain great insights on how to do this. And then you can receive the complete beginner's guide to property investing today. Sign up for your copy over at our website. Always keep your eyes on the prize. And that is the property market. You can find out amazing deals um, that are out there so long as you've signed up to the newsletters that come in and knowing what investments you are looking for. You can make a fixer upper someone's dream home. And the best parts of this is usually that it's at the fraction of the cost to yourself. People that buy these kinds of homes generally make a good, um, exceptional, good profits in it as well. And the bonus is, is giving it to some family out there as their dream home, if you're flipping. If you're turning it into a rental property, remember your target market. Are you renting to single families, professionals, students? Always look at who you are renting it to. Increase your income streams. Know when it's time to sell up. 
keep your portfolio current and up to date so that you can keep your eye on the increases or decreases that are potentially out there on the investment. Make sure that your tenants are keeping the property well, in good condition, and that their payments of their rents are up to date. Always never keep bad debts. We that bad debts, just keep good ones and keep your portfolio up to date. This will help you decide on what properties to keep and those to sell. So make sure you always do the numbers and you keep a check on your portfolio every year. So final thoughts. These ideas are a great way to keep your property portfolio current and up to date. As a woman, I want to help you to access the skills needed for you to begin your investment journey and enjoy financial rewards of your work. So join the Savvy Women Investors Academy today and learn the strategies needed with training from myself and other experts that are all in the industry to create an impactful property business and that runs very fast for you. These ideas will keep you focused and trained to build out your property investment portfolio. So join us today. This is our last video um, blog that we're doing for this year of 2021, but we will be back next year in 2022. And what's new that's going to be happening in 2022 for the Savvy Women Group? We'll be bringing you new podcasts called the Sisters with Attitude Talks. The Savvy, um, the Savvy Property Investors Show will also expand and talking about business as well and how to create your business and how to expand your business. We're launching a magazine and we're launching other new products and services within the group as well. Remember, you can reach us for a free discovery call if you just send us an email to info at savvywomen.co.uk or go to our website and book a direct appointment on there at savvywomen.co.uk. You can also like, share and comment on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and LinkedIn. We look forward to hearing from you and I wish you all a good holiday and I'll see you next year in 2022 with some fresh thoughts and ideas. See you soon.